This is the March 29th, 2013 edition of Inside Rensselaer, about the people, programs, and events at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. The interior of every cell within our bodies is crisscrossed with a network of molecular highways upon which nutrients, replacement parts, and other vital materials travel to their appropriate location. The system is immensely complex, and wrong turns are among the cellular malfunctions observed in connection with diseases like Alzheimer's and ALS. That much is known. But the road signs that direct traffic on these highways, collectively known as the cytoskeleton, are a mystery, and now the subject of research for Lee Ligon, Associate Professor of Biology. She's been awarded a five-year, $1.5 million grant from the National Institutes of Health to unravel one thread of the mystery, testing whether a particular feature scientists have observed on the molecular highways, called microtubules, could be serving as a directional sign for traffic. It's official. A record total of 16,112 high school students have filed applications to attend Rensselaer this fall. This year's total represents a growth of approximately 6% since last year at this time, and this year more than 6,600 students have been admitted for a 41% acceptance rate, the third lowest in Rensselaer's history. Rensselaer will celebrate the Countdown to Earth Day with a week-long festival of performances, lectures, films, exhibits, and workshops centered on environmental sustainability. The Sensing Environments Festival will present daily events from April 14th to April 21st. All events are free and open to the public. The Rensselaer Games and Simulation Arts and Sciences program was named among the top 15 out of 150 undergraduate game design programs in the United States and Canada, according to the Top Schools to Study Video Game Design for 2013 report from the Princeton Review, in partnership with PC Gamer Magazine. And the School of Engineering and several of its programs made gains on this year's list of Best Graduate Engineering Programs by U.S. News and World Report. The 13th Annual Colloquium on Teaching and Learning will be held on Wednesday, April 10th. This year's theme will focus on innovations in e-learning, massive open online courses, and beyond. Earlier this month, several student members of the International Anti-Slavery Campaign teamed up with the Rensselaer Christian Association to stand for 27 hours for the 27 million people still enslaved around the world. In celebration of National Engineers Week, the School of Engineering hosted its annual Exploring Engineering Day last month. Gardens on your roof, homemade rockets, light up your electric zoo, potato power, safe shipping designs, jello microfluidics, and growing human tissue were just a few of the engineering activities offered. More than 380 elementary school students in grades 3 to 6 and 310 parents explored several activities as a part of the program. And Ralph Isnera has been named as the head football coach for the engineers. A veteran of 22 years in coaching, he brings experience from Division 3, II, Division 2, and the football championship subdivision. And that's it for this edition. For more on these stories and others, go to www.rpi.edu slash about slash inside.